Okay. Hail Flare, Grand Puppeteer of Streams. Got your magic word, question of the day, and snazzy stream title good to go? No. Don't leave us in suspense. Alien Monster. Alien Monster. Okay. What's up? Doing some go lives real quick, like. What up, Cujo? Cujo McFly swoops in first, like an eagle with a GPS. Look at eagle with a GPS. It's a shame. I blame Flair's coding. Eagle. I blame Flair's coding. Hello too. there, Cujo McFly. Hope you came ready for a riotous round Hello, of digital shenanigans. You? Rock. Rock. I uh, fell asleep. Yeah, I straight up fell asleep. <laughs> Pardon the microphone noise. Here we go. <laughs> What's up? Oh, probably underscore underscore Let me get my underscore microphone in the right spot. There we go. Hello. That's good. Ready to wreak a little controlled chaos. I feel zoomed out more than usual. Computer. There. That's. And then I want to go what this way a little bit. Beautiful. What's up? Ready to wreak a little controlled chaos on stream today? Mini tribal. Excuse me. McFly just resubscribed with tier one for it's almost a whole year in PJ. <laughs> Seventeen months. That s almost a whole year in PJ time. <laughs> Blue was at 18 months on his, and he's like, that's like a whole year. <laughs> 18 months? That's like a year. <laughs> yep. So we took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialists on dark spells. To the witcher's fortress of Kaer Morin. Cujo McFly gives Flair a high five. <coughs> That's 67. <coughs> hey, I got the gift working. Little. I'm surprised it took me this long to get Tina Fey up on my, up on my stream. Get a. Well, I'm up to 549 followers. What happened? It seems like a jump. It seems a bit like a jumper. Hype Hype gives Flair a high five. Nice. That's eight times now. Uh, she is a master comedian, if that's what you mean. I did used to have a little bit of a crush on her, but, you know, mostly I think she's really funny and I think she was one of the best writers SNL ever had. And then, uh, 30 rock was like a masterpiece and her book was really her bio, her autobiography was incredible. She's, she's very funny. And anything where it was Tina Fey and Amy Poehler together was just always gold. Um, Dirty Rock was so ridiculous. I I don't know what it is about it. I, I It's like that kind of like just really fucking bizarre non sequitur comedy. I don't know what it was about it. I loved Dirty Rock. Ads should be butted, but welcome back. Ads should be butted, but. Zip your scan flap and stand back. Oh shit. Casting a shite shadow on my lustrous glow. Ah, it's just a cyclops. Whatever. I got a new move. Watch. Kacha! The Lord Falcones. May your day be as splendid as a crit roll. Take that, Game big fucking crown. cyclops. How was that volume wise between my voice and the games? Felt like the game music got a little bit loud there. Mini tribal. <laughs> 
says Claire check it. Crazy Catnip just resubscribed with tier 1 for a total um. of 11 months. Bolter Ian Love Crazy 75 Rainbow Love what up, Ella? 2 Love Crazy 75 Rainbow Love Bolter Ian Love. <laughs> what up, Yo, Catnip? Chat. Let's get this hype train chugging. Uh, Hog Champ Kappa Kipo. Um. Let's see. I missed something. Be nice. Oh, I see. Zip your scan flap and stand back. You're casting a shite shadow on my lustrous gro gro glow. It's good. Um. Baldwin. Yeah. Um. It vibrates at me. Hey, crazy and then it cat. Gave me wood. Waving my virtual hands like crazy. <laughs> Hope you're having a perfect is not my favorite. It vibrated harder this time. Um, but the writing for money. him was so like self-deprecating that it really it Check really it worked. The Lord Falcones has cheered for 100 bits. Or it was like they made fun of the persona so well in that show while still having the character be self-important and all that stuff. He was perfect casting for that role. Wow. I don't like the man himself that much. Uh, stinks of carrion. Necrophages. But I also don't care that much about people's air. personal lives as entertainers. To a point. Siren tracks. A very big siren. I think if you look really, really hard at anyone's life, you're going to find stuff you don't like. And I think it's unfair the way that we sensationalize the daily lives of people in the public eye. But it's also inevitable. It's one thing if it's just like, if it's someone that's like, and, and he is, he's like outspoken in many ways and that that brings him into the limelight but just in general like i really loved this musician and then i found out that like one time they said something real bad and it was like no 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 yeah i'm not i'm not saying that, that. i'm just saying in general like i know people have a problem with him i'm not saying that this is why you have a problem with him I'm just kind of just talking. But I had a lot of trouble with the whole... Um, I had a lot of trouble with the whole... Being able to hate J.K. Rowling and still enjoy... The Potter, Harry Potter universe. And that was really the first time for me where it was like, it was hard. It's it, it's harder to detangle it than it has been because of, um, I mean, because of my involvement with, with you guys and with like, Another scene. if it were just me, like, See, I was like super in very 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 like to the point of like I already I had tattoos drawn up and stuff and I also never um I never like I don't see her influence in Twitter because I don't follow celebrities and stuff on Twitter I follow like people or like <laughs> micro personalities at least so that stuff never came to me firsthand it's, it's all just secondhand hearsay as far as I'm concerned whether or not it's true and I think it probably is there certainly seems to be plenty of evidence uh, it just like if it were just about me watching the movies or me playing the game in my own personal time and whatever, I have no problem playing it. I, I own the game. Like, I'm not going to give it back. 
Um, I haven't played it yet. But I won't stream it. And because I know people in our community that feel much more strongly about it than I do. So, yeah, yeah, totally. Like, but like I have no first first-hand connection to this person apart from the works and I love the works um but at the same time I respect my community enough that if I know there's something of you know like it's it's not worth me playing on stream because I know there are people in the community that would object to that and it's not fucking worth it the truth is that I just have to break something. I think that I can show you all the mistakes and some vibrates. Was there a hype train or did that... Was that a failed... Uh... Twitch event thing. Sweet. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it must be... It must just be firing off of any hype train event at all. Was that... Does that mean that it was like... The thing that said it was close to a hype train was up. Okay. Well, thank you all anyway. I was too busy talking to really even realize that that was happening. Um. Anyway. I don't have a problem personally separating the art from the artist even if the artist is a complete douchebag, but that was the first time where it was, like, obvious that I needed to figure out how to do that anyway, or at least just refrain from publicly enjoying a thing just out of respect. You know? Like, I don't have to alter my beliefs to respect my community. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Yeah, and that's a completely, completely valid take, and I will all do my best to strange scale color. Not your everyday. Not publicly publicly support any anything that I know someone in my community is that much against so it's you guys that convinced me when I asked about it it was you guys that convinced me not to not to even play it not to stream it I haven't even I haven't even installed it I'm super curious but um my wife will probably play it and that'll be fine. <laughs> Find Melusine in the caves. I guess I'm going up here. No? No, further in. Can I get further in from here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like, uh, Witcher, Witcher senses. So you can, you can, sometimes you can track something by a scent and there will be like a fluffy red line in the air. There we go. So this is like a trail being left. So you can also see like treasure. The yellow stuff is like treasure and the red stuff is like a quest clue or whatever. 
Check below the stream video for the stream stickers extension in the panels, folks. Go on, have a peek. Framed picture down finger paint Nails. palette. <clears throat> Gotta be. Some monster dropped him from high up. It wasn't lying. Anyway, and regardless of how I feel about that, I also... It's just not worth... There's so many people in the streaming world that are like, Ooh, controversy. I'm gonna like push the envelope so hard it, it says excuse me <laughs> like I'm just gonna like there's a slight rule change I'm gonna go right up to the very edge of my perception of what that rule is and dangle my feet over the edge you know like just there's a certain personality that just loves pushing boundaries and those people <laughs> are streamers very often. It's like, uh... Yeah, well, you're just like, uh, displaying a promising aptitude for quality control, honestly. <laughs> I'd hire you as a QA tester, like today. <laughs> We'd teach you. If I'm not hiring, but were I looking for a junior QA engineer, I would try to recruit Drew. <laughs> Yeah, you're just uh, curious and you think of, you know, we call them edge cases or corner cases where it's like, there's a, you know, this thing accepts two inputs. What are the weird inputs I can throw at it to see, <laughs> to see what, you know, what happens if one of them is zero? What happens if both of them are zero? What happens if they cancel each other out? What happens if it's negative? Salutations. What happens if it's letters and it's expecting a number? You know, like, it's just curiosity and I appreciate it because it's teaching me to get better at the C-sharp stuff um, and build in and think about those edge cases and like accepted value types and stuff like that it's actually like makes me better at writing this stuff to have someone that's testing it rigorously collect your word collect your reward from kevin kevin with the less popular k-e-v-a-n spelling What's not here? I missed something. Look at all these little crabbies. We were talking about cases. IA but med C A. Uh edge cases. Yeah, 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 yeah. get it thanks bless bot <laughs> uh, I very often forget to summon my horse and it would save me so much time if I did it a lot more uh, like religiously So, I took my kid to the pediatrician tonight because he's got pink eye and we're out of... I want to just get him on antibiotics for it. And while we were there, I was like, well, let's get a flu shot, too. And I hate it. Faster. Because you were just running? But you're... You know what? But he's played it so often that he... Oh, a hunter. What are you hunting? There, buddy. Together. 
What is this guy shooting at? Just nothing. Um. I know, I know Blue respects the first time playthrough, but there's so much just like, wow, exploring wow. in the beginning. Like just wandering around and like, what happens if I break these skulls around, you know? If I, if I hit this skull on the ground, it gives me a hundred runes. Did you know that? Look, just tiny little shit. Just exploring the game mechanics and wandering around and like... Um, it's worth walking in that game. <clears throat> I just want to play Elden Ring a lot. Um, I'm really torn. I, uh, I always said that this was my very favorite game. And then I spent, in, during my first playthrough of Elden Ring, I was like, nope, this beats it. This beats it for sure. But now that I'm playing this again, I'm like, this game is great. I don't think it beats. I think they're about they're about equal in my mind. Elden Ring is very good, and so is this. <laughs> I, I am actually wearing pants, but that's because I was just at the doctor's office. I'm wearing soft pants. It's the first thing I did when I I walked came home. But I put on soft True. pants. Take a breather, deep breaths, and maybe less keyboard smash, my friend. Chill vibes. So, um. Anyway, we. I took him there to get. Antibiotic eye drops and a flu shot because he just hadn't had his yet this year. And um, I was hoping when I asked if they still had flu shots that the doctor would say no, just because I didn't want to do it to him at the moment. But he was he was such a tough little dude. He's he's a badass. Dirty means poop. It does. He cried for like four seconds, if that, and then was like, that was not my favorite. And then he was fine. <laughs> He's three. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's a little champ. He outweighs his six-year-old brother now. Master Witcher. Found an old echidna in a cave on the shore. Tough beast, but I killed it. So Brit spoke true. A beast took Nils. And killed him. Body's in the cave. I'll have to fetch it. Witcher, would ye mind telling Brit what happened anyway. to her control? <clears throat> Doctor says he's not contagious after two dose two doses, which is like twenty four hours. So he should actually be able to go back to school when school opens up, as long as he's not like super gross still. <laughs> Fine, I'll talk to her. It's the least she deserves. Feel like a damn fool now, not believing me own. But sense. if he looks nasty, Take I'm not this. sending him. Hard work deserves payment. Farewell. I wish the other parents would behave the same way. But this definitely came from... It wasn't from school, because they haven't had school in three weeks. But it was from the science... Kids Science Museum, for sure. Go to a place that's made for kids to, like, do hands-on science shit. But during I just taste <laughs> foreigner watch your step 
Oh. Pink guy. <laughs> but damn the dogs, you don't look like one to haggle. Unfamiliar with that term? High five. That's two times now. High five. How's it going, LF? I know you've got other streams in your ear too, but hiya. Tell Brit what happened to her betrothed. Okay. true to me and so I'll vow to be true to him for the rest of my days take this gold it ain't much but I want you to take it uh no I'm rich as shit thank you lady I won't accept any coin from you why do you offend me so don't take it the wrong way there are things even a witcher shouldn't take coin for Why do you offend me so? I'm not offending you. I just you were trying to give me like 200 gold, and I have like 10,000. So keep it. Um. Okay, let's do main quests. We're gonna work on ugly baby. <clears throat> Go back to the signpost. Got a betrothed. Did it hurt that monster when you killed it? Doodly doodly do. Doody means poop. It does. Guard, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I mean the way that. Yo, chat. A Witcher should play it is to chaos. the way that he would actually play it. Bits for the menu. If I were true to the character, would be like to just be cold, like not mean, but just un unfeeling. Um, help Yennefer fix the megascope. Okay, back to Belen. A wild tale, indeed. Yo, the Lord Falconius fished out Tictic, the lone kobold survivor, from an ambush, and decided to give the creature an intermittent gravity challenge. Poor Tictic, language barriers are truly a bitch, aren't they? <laughs> Hello, wind, whispers of Where? legends enter with your presence. Welcome to the whimsy. Where is she? She's not there. We took him. Oh, Karamoran, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and the, I like these games where, like, your decisions make a difference in the story and, like, the, you know, just endings and things like that. And then there's like um this one is pretty it's pretty bleak like this world is awful there's monsters fucking everywhere there's like warring kings 
who are all just like complete narcissists. Lovely viewers. And for a short ad break in two minutes. It's just like the world is just objectively awful. And so everything is bleak choices. It's like there's this one where you like there's this objectively evil creature kind of controlling a town and they worship it but they don't really realize what they're worshiping is this like awful evil thing they're like because because to them it's just like the thing that makes the crops grow or whatever and he's like a god to them and he's good because it's just a matter of perspective and You can either kill it or let it be, and if you let it be, the village survives, and a bunch of, like, orphans die. <laughs> or if you let it, if you kill it, then the orphans survive, and a whole village gets, like, wiped out. And it's like, the, the choices are so bleak. Alright, I think I gotta go to, up to the tower to talk to Yennefer. Let's see if Eskel's got any. Hmm. Impressive specimen. Mm. Oh, this is the Ekimara. Tracking, stalking. But I finally dropped a son of a bitch. Congratulations. Can't help wondering, though. Why'd you keep the corpse? Aim to stuff it, hang it above the mantle? <laughs> Not a bad idea. Gotta finish the autopsy first, though. This one was. Wind, what's your very favorite game ever? Stronger. Wanna examine it thoroughly. <clears throat> Simple, simple but difficult question. No thanks. You cut. We were just talking about how my mine is somewhere between Witcher Three and Elden Ring, and it's impossible to choose. Let's examine its head. He's just like eating an apple, picking through the guts of a monster. That's normal. Long ears. And an earring. Delicious. Mm -hmm. It's got an earring. Seen that before. Some of the and in the maw, yellow dull teeth. Missing its upper. Um. Um. We're gonna go like this, and then like this, and then we're gonna copy that, and then we're gonna go like this. There you go. Savage Lands, an open world survival oh, game. He just answers. As a troll He's like, no problem, it's Savage Lands. Build, hunt, and sometimes, just sometimes, you don't die from hypothermia. It's got that spicy masochism some gamers crave. Huh. Fifteen inches, I'd say. It's just like I've. They grow its whole life. I didn't write anything about Savage Lands anywhere. Hundred ten years old. In his context, or. Calves and feet, especially. Let me tell you, the sucker. That was just a choice. One second here, there the next. I mean, a random chance, honestly. But I see it. I love that he was just like. Long story. Because most of the time when you ask him something that like where the answer requires like an opinion um he like equivocates politically basically <laughs> um so, but that time he just like fucking made a choice that's interesting uh, bits of undigested food a few decades worth looks like I should put that in his um, system text. Is don't if you're not. Want to give it to Yennefer? That'd be as good as new once you polish it a bit. You know, make just make a choice on polarizing topics or something like that. Rest is perfectly normal. Don't equivocate. Seems like I had a pension for the blood of drunkards. But then that would be. Enough for now. This was an old one, experienced. <laughs> Sir Reginald Ribbettington, the nice noble amphibian, declares, My favorite game is Leapfrog with Aristocrats. A it's a riveting experience, like hopping over the well-dressed while maintaining Would one's top agree. hat at the precise angle of dapperness. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Not a 
afraid of silver. Okay. <laughs> I need more, uh, uh, you know, I, I was gonna do, like, to be honest, I was, like, very much less than sober when I made the idea in the suggestion box to do the, like, bent over Ace Ventura as a animation for BotSpot. But it would be interesting to have... Whoa. Oh. Sir Ribbington. <laughs> Damned crystal. Maybe it could be like, oh man, I'm just just thinking about it. I think it's a good idea, but you know, like some VTubers have like you can you get a, get a channel point thing to change the model. But I can have it so that it changes the model and also changes the like system prompt the guys well they're so that with you why is that it would speak as sir Ribbington planning you're treating them like pages not including them us actually because I feel that way too mm. I shall explain everything I think I'm gonna have to do that it's too good of an idea not to do just because it's too much work I can just do it like in a small scope. Maybe it can be separate and he can talk on the BRA back screen sometimes or something. I don't know. I'm just going to put make a Sir Ribbington redeem and maybe we'll start a little simpler than that whole thing. First, we must finish our preparations. But. He, he is a good dapper lad. Heard about the bed. Uh, really prefer to sleep on excuse the floor? Me. Wouldn't recommend it. That stone can get awfully chilly. Frankly, I prefer a chill to bedding littered with red hair. So upset about Triss, you gotta take it out on the furniture? Would you prefer I take it out some other way? Mm-hmm. Geralt, mm -hmm. I don't want to seem like a vindictive shrew. But that very bed is where you just happened to fuck a dear friend of mine. <laughs> yes, I know. You've lost your memory. Whatever. Let us agree that I will refrain from scolding you while you will stop mentioning that stupid bed. Agreed? Agreed. Splendid. On to more pressing matters. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, I poked the bear. All right. What do I do? Firstly, help Askel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid. The other was to fortify the phylactic... I already did both of these. Come on. Is that so? Thank you. My, the initiative. That leaves one other trifle to there resolve. As you saw, my megascope's acting up. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby, generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. All right. How do I find the source? How do I find the source? All he does is rip it. Use this Potesta Quisitor. He doesn't even do that. Potesta... Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. So Yet it's fancy. Grasp it down to move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Mm -hmm. What did I just Spare say that sounded like zing? Wit, please. Well, I guess I said sounds fancy? I don't ah, know. One more thing. One more thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Geralt. Hmm. You have a new quest item. Doodly doodly doo. Is it already in my thing? Yep. Pot. Potestiquisitor. The Potestiquisitor. Is the door in use? Nope. Mm -hmm. 
nothing here. I don't care about the quest, I'm just looting. Smash that subscribe button on Flare's YouTube for Wicked Streamer Bot Tutorials. Wicked Streamer Bot Tutorials? What are you, from Jersey? Oh, got a signal. Signal's growing stronger. So, Yennefer found him. Hold on, Vesmir. With that chirping stick after all. Would you call me? Oh, a volunteer. Yeah. That I am. Getting warmer. Warmer. Look at all these treasure chests. Oh, it seems like you're trying to send me on a wild Wikipedia uh, goose chase. Getting warmer. But my cyber sleuthing abilities warmer. are trapped here. I can't access hmm. external content. Including that delicious looking article. You used if to be only able I could to hyperlink out of here. Hmm. Interesting. I know there's a way to do that. I will have to figure that out. It used to just fucking work. Or maybe it only worked if they the topic was like available to the training data oh, let me try it again for you wiki 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 um Ooh, that's not it that's a really great doc um i think i fixed a couple of the things that you suggested by the way, Drew, um, where the fuck is it? Oh, it's on cooldown even for me. What is that? <laughs> Come on, then. I get it. <laughs> is that a, it looks like a heroic emote um one of the things was i don't know there was some like just like typo shit that you suggested that it did i don't remember what else hepbridge farm remembers it's just him Can we talk? How can I help you? I um I need a, a newer pro I, be, I need a better process for the suggestions folder because like I delete the ones that I've done, but then I don't have record of it anymore. So I need like a to just strike through them or something. Senior. As I sat the other the other day I was like I think Cujo was streaming and then I was watching Rev <laughs> Where are you on that one, Peabot? You think um, universals exist as real and distinct entities? But yeah, there were a few that were like um when I'm one thing I realized is when I'm when I'm a command is replying to Sometimes I have it, 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 it sends a message to chat, and then some other times I have it reply to the command. So, like, um, what's an example of that one? Roll, maybe? No, the death save was one thing. There was something in the death save. Oh, it was like saying, just randomly saying the person's name in death save. There was a, an extra space after a period because I'm um, old enough to remember when you actually needed to, when I learned to type, I, it was still, 
Uh, I need to use the channel points. When I learned to type, you still needed to make two spaces after a period. Um, so, so my thumb just fucking does it. It's beyond my control. Getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. Most, um... Warmer. Most uh, software these days will just automatically eliminate it and stuff. Look at the fire. Shit. Lost the signal. It's definitely here. basically oh, just over by signal. Uma. Anything over here? Is there like a barrel of dematerium or something? Stronger. I think it's just Uma. Can't be far now. Hold this. Uh -huh. Getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. No reaction to dimeridium. Mounted witchering just never took off. Autocorrect, yes. but it initiate, but I it? give it that. Hmm. <laughs> Found some of Berengar's notes. From what I made out, he was trying to forge a sword. Torhan, you were helping him. Advising, at best. Boy never managed to forge the blade, <clears throat> but would never let me at the anvil. Just pestered me with questions. Wanted to do it all by himself. Victorian <laughs> just resubscribed with tier one. <laughs> <laughs> Bolt. Well, How's it going? Spot, your turbo Berengar brain on autocorrect is more astacular than a Victorian yeah. just resubscribed. Flair, check it. Boltorian just resubscribed with Tier 1 for a total of four months. Hey, hey. At any rate, hey, hey. Chort turned out. I know the rest of the story. How do I get to this Chort's Hey, Boltorian. Hope you're crushing it today. Whatever universe you're conquering. <laughs> Whatever universe you're conquering. Milky Way. Hey, you know, I learned something at the Science Museum the other day. But he was a damn good fighter. Um. Chort's still there. You could be in for a wild and ride. our family car is a Subaru now. and the guy at the planetor planetarium was like Subaru is just the Warmer. Japanese word for Warmer. the Pleiades Warmer. Hot. and I didn't know that ah, there you are ah, getting warmer Warmer. Hot. <laughs> Disturbance is coming from there. I s I've been, uh, yeah, and it, and it makes sense because their, their logo is like a bunch of stars and. Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder. So how, now, how did I not know that? But I don't know. Right, Why would I? Out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess. That's so why much. trivia is Just trivia, because it's food. trivial. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. I've been playing Minecraft with, um, so. my son, Bolt. Once upon a time, Bolt but I have, like, a realm Minecraft on, on because he plays on Switch and I play on... In hand and creep that way we can, the between the PlayStation and the Switch and, and my computer and his tablet, and we can all still play in the same world, the Voxel Valleys. whatever the combination Unless is. Minecraft was conquered. Unfortunately, that put, that puts us in Bedrock Edition, but it's okay. I built him an iron farm today. I figured out a Bedrock iron farm, and it's nice. It's nice, tidy, tidy little design. I like it. Look at the fire. Oreos are banned in Nepal. Yes. What is it, Wolf? That's crazy. I met with Amir. Any crowned heads you haven't met? A few. Hoping it stays that way. Remember the first war with Nilfgaard? Battle of Sodden? The North, all of it, fought together. Tamaria, Redania, Cadwin, Eden. And the mages were heroes. On the field, first, it, Drew. and in ballads. Not much left of that world. <laughs> no offense, but... 
I, I don't feel like it would shock me, but roof tiles usually fall from the roof. I'm also not very shockable. You're putting up walls, rebuilding the fortress for three people. Why? Because I remember how it was, Wolf, before the massacre. We were 20. Yeah, 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 yeah. The clock, I know. But I refuse to just sit and st Now we're going to fix the castle. See fix you later, the visitor. castle. Uma is the best. I know it. I know who it actually is that's cursed. Mm, but Uma is the best. Can we talk? <laughs> okay, onward. Back to Yen. What's up, Eskel? Eskel's chilling with the Akimara. Just like standing there, arms crossed, looking at it. Go up the tower. There's still more shit to loot from my own castle. I can't wait to get to the expansion stuff, which is why I'm rushing the main quests now because side quests are I've done all the side quests multiple times um, so I just want to kind of rush into the expansion content which I've only done once Thank you. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? I think he probably did have any idea. But also the line Lambert doesn't know shit about megascopes is more fun. You know, Lambert's not exactly an expert on megascopes, so... Please. Lambert is mean, not stupid. But no matter. More importantly, I shall finally be able to contact Ida. Welcome. Ida? Turning to K. <coughs> no bother at all. Always a pleasure. <coughs> Excuse me. Your stay. Do you want to press the bonk button or shall I, Cujo? Go for it. So I've heard. Consider it no, thank you. Bye-bye. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Kettnell Yennefer at Vlengerberg. Gwynblade? Mill and Severn. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar. I bet I can make a better chatbot than you. The words of the curse? Vafel Elaine, Ked Mil Folie. But thank you. Also, bye bye. Wee! I love my band button. Take it you've heard the words before. <laughs> yes, in legends of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us with the curse? To a degree, Agnes de Glanville's incantation, <clears throat> combined with Elder's triangle, inverted, of course, they are your only possible recourse. But I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Enzavern. I don't think I changed the word of the day. I'm trying to figure out what, not the word of the day, but the, the secret word. We went so long without hitting it because it was set to ash. If I may, Gwynblade, I and request. Stop guessing. Just listen. <laughs> The time of the one Chris came in and was just talking about Ash, and the, world will the person. Its dice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt Who is their significant you other, maybe? I'm not 100% sure. Can initiate the final age, but they were the talking about the end. Or stop it. another person who they refer to as Ash. 
for you will be the one to determine if the seed burst and triggered it and it had been like it has to have been like five months at least and i'm trying to remember what the hell i would have said it to ash for because i usually when i said it i usually said it um What the fuck, Drew? <laughs> Is this just like <laughs> you trying trying all words to find it? What if it's not a word? No, it's still I haven't changed it. It's still 2024, I think. I know I haven't changed Good it. Joke in chat. If Joy did guide you here, your follows covert. Fear not, drop it, dear. Um, yeah. <laughs> but it breaks counting word. every time you use it. All in all, it's um, a conversation. Yeah, it had to have been. I'm trying to think of what I would have said it when I would have said it to Ash. Probably. What would I have been playing where Ash would be significant? Significant? Because when I do change it, I usually change it. I used to change it before stream, and I would pick the I would pick the secret word as something that someone might say that had something to do with the game that I was playing and the section of that game. If I knew anything that was coming or whatever, or if there was like a topical. You know, current events, topical thing. I would set it like purposely, not like it wasn't. It's it's never just been like a random fucking word. So I'm trying to think of what I would when it, what I would have been playing I when I would have set it to, to Ash. I said we and I can only think of Elden Ring. I don't know what you want. Like Ash of War or it's not safe. Whatever. Just as I thought. Maybe something in Hunt? Why? I don't I think, think so though. Let's try another less invasive method. I don't think it would have been the quarry. I don't think I've used it many times. In 1211, to lift the curse that held the swan of Pope. Fuck else did I play last year? Take but it was like, it had to have been months. Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we will. I also need to make that a better system. Because right now, I like, I have to go in and manually change something in a command. The problem is it's tied to a command. But I don't and I can't use. This to you. You know what? I, know I might be able to use a variable. I wonder if I could use the var a variable I'm in a command. I don't think I can. I'll be back at dawn with Uma or whoever hides inside him. Hmm. So I just have to build it instead of using a command. I would just have to build it into the chat parse. If I could rewrite it that way, then I could make it use a variable, and then I could make like a a way to set it. Sorry, I'm just brainstorming out loud. And then I'll also hear this. Future Flare will hear this when Future Flare reviews this VOD. And I have a second chance to remember the idea. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Pe Pepperidge Farm always remembers. So, got the evening. <sighs> So my goal is to make it a more shareable idea because it's fun. Maybe we could see to that. Um, or we could have a drink. Yeah, I, I try to watch every single one. I'm usually about a month behind. I can do, but not voted. Let's go. But I review them and I make clips and I post the clips. I I finally started posting the clips again. Now that Twitch made it really easy to cut a vertical video out of Come on, Lambert. See you um, bit, Geralt. their their in their uh, internal up, tools are getting much minutes, better. I'm, not, I'm be really happy with the way that they have been developing it, and with 
so far with Dan Clancy as CEO, everybody was afraid that he was just going to be like an Amazon shill. And, you know, as CEO, he still has a fiduciary duty to the investors and to the parent company. But he's I feel like he's doing a really good job. And I feel like everybody expected this this like corporate chill type guy and he's proving to be like he uses he like streams sometimes he like he's he's been awesome in a ton of interviews with like big streamers like a, he's and he's just making good choices for the most part like it's That's awesome. it's last 2023 was really fucking oh, promising for twitch and everybody was so like had their heads up their asses about kick or this or that and like kick was just a distraction and it was also like a challenge like competition is good i'm too old to play the blushing bride unless you ask nicely and um i think all the all the changes turned into like a really good year for twitch or two as much as everybody has has ideas how ideas and complaints or whatever like they made 2022 felt like one bad idea after another every time they made some announcement it was like what the fuck <laughs> like either like just why or like that's a terrible idea and then 2023 they like every time they announced something i was like you know like it, it that's minor but it's also a great idea or like Hey, sounds like they're finally giving up on this huge bad idea that they've been running with. Like, all that promotion about, like, the dual streaming stuff. Like, if people want to do the dual streaming thing, there's already tools for that, and we're happy with them. Or three. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> Sorry, Kujo. I have high, high likelihood of a few very long be right back scenes tonight um with a freshly flu shotted baby with pink eye in the next room well he's not a baby anymore he's three but wow you know. hey -oh. good time for ads I'm just like casually clicking through dialogue lines in my sixth playthrough or whatever. And I stumbled into like. <laughs> no, I don't need one right now, Drew. I'm just saying that there is there is a high likelihood of long be right back scenes today. There's like wolves chasing a deer. The allegory is just just wonderful. Huh. decided to join us enjoy yourselves you heard the answer to that question <laughs> Lambert Besides, that sounds like a business. great job <laughs> what's up hey Tom IT right, what's cooking good looking I drink from welcome to the digital stuff. den of whimsy and wit welcome back <sighs> perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum we could do some catching up Okay, I need to run to the bathroom. I should have while that ad was running, but I didn't because I'm a ding dong. Oh, ho, ho. dangerous horse sons, though. But I need to go. I'm gonna put Peabot up, and you guys can say hi. And uh, we'll be right back. Welcome, brave digital souls, to the Pixel Palace of Flair. We plan through a masquerade ball for the city's notables. 
to lure the vampire out of hiding. The ever elusive other reason, an enigma disguised. wrapped in a riddle, snug in a lull cocoon. You, Bug so rolling on the floor laughing. As I did that night. No judgment but Glorio 19 LUL. Sure thing, Cujo McFly, let me just lullaby.x that tiny human to the land of Nod. Crescent Moon Z's musical notes. Hey Tom IT, enjoy lurking. Safe travels in 20 minutes, city at dusk. Well, Cujo McFly, once you go.x, it's sweet dreams FTW. Now, if only kids came with a mute button, am I right? No speaking. <laughs> Is it 6 a.m. already? Time flies when you're in the digital realm, doesn't Damn. it, early birds? Bird alarm clock. You said it, chief. Reality can't no worries, Tom. our sparkly pixel universe. Is Tom okay? Thanks for stopping by, and I appreciate the lick. I feel like my camera got wonked a little bit lately. It's like... Not... I really want one of those uh, Elgato teleprompters. I have a like really cheap teleprompter, and it's like... Pretty good. For what it, it is what it is better than none it's like basically just a glass piece of glass and a shelf for a phone <laughs> that sits in front of my camera but it works um and i use it for videos okay. but the Honestly, elgato one looks really cool because you can you can use it just as a monitor so you can put i could put chat up there so that way i would be looking right here when i was reading chat which would be nice Cause it's right there the screen i may honestly be able to figure out how to do that now but still if anybody with any sway with elgato happens to be watching i'd love one of those teleprompters yeah i'll make a video for it <laughs> <laughs> There once was a chat so discordant whose members were I've quite the assortment. This young Alchemist. Click All right. the link, join really the fray in Flair's Fish Discord. Tech. What I miss? Magic oh. Geralt's horse roach, the original Skyrim horse, parkours over mountains and hunts. Lullaby.exe. Always behind you, horse. Let me just lullaby.exe. What is that a link to? Your show, Flair. <laughs> just nothing. Okay. Let me just lullaby.exe that tiny human to the land of Nod. That's cute. Once you go.exe, it's sweet dreams for the win. <laughs> now, if only kids came with a mute button, am I right? <laughs> I, I'm trying. Like, I know I don't look at the camera very often and because, like, chat is over here that way where I'm looking on my side monitor and the game is down here and my camera is above my monitor so I'm trying to like actually talk to the camera a little bit more I still learning went out into the garden Vampire found her and drank his thrill. Fight was an afterthought. Hmm. A fairy tale on gluttony for modern times. Alchemist come out of it all right? Fine. Lost a bit of blood, I suppose. Hangover was the worst part. She drank nothing but pickle juice for the next month. <laughs> what? Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies. And then, I found Yen. Yeah, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? <sighs> Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. 
Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He get caught plowing somebody he shouldn't have been. Right. Speaking of old friends, Novigrad and plowing, how's Triss? Fuck off, Lambert. Whoa! Hit a sore <laughs> spot, I guess. Lambert, not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious. Let's talk. Yen, what do you plan to do with Uma? I fucking Lambert. So tell us now. I like Lambert, but fucking Lambert. I'll subject him to the trial of grasses, but only. You fucking what? Um, if you know anything about the trial of grasses and the Witcher lore stuff, like. I'm not correcting him on this. Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to <clears> say, <throat> I'll only apply the first half of the trial because... Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting <laughs> or I will watch you suffer. Yeah. Oh my god. To restore Uma's former... I'm on... We must first... <sighs> the last time they were in school was... In December 20th, Cujo. It will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a witcher. They've just been home. Well, uh, to be fair, they've one or the other has been at either my mother-in-law my mother-in-law's house or my parents' house. Uh, to be fair. To be fair. Well, to be fair. To be fair. I need to watch Letter Kenny again. <laughs> yeah, we're like on the home stretch. And then they get pink eye, and I'm just like, fuck me. <laughs> It'll be the first trial in years, decades. But I knew you'd be wary. We'll be all right. That's not the problem. Oh Those man. Secrets have been forgotten, and that's how they should stay. I'd be the last. Is she having nightmares? Of witches. You hardly need to. See, till now we had a great excuse not for to something. Apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? I mean... I am. But we're all out of step to chew on. Wow. Well, how old is she? Four? Five? Gentlemen. Wow. Pleasure drinking with you. Lambert especially. But the hour is late. Four? Don't stay up long. Tomorrow's an important and three quarters. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, she, she's like... Pretty close to my oldest. <laughs> Didn't listen, did he? Um, I never do. What are you talking about? Neither Seven. of Seven. mine have really. Well, no, my oldest has talked about Some more dreams. Ooh, yeah, the break is bad. like. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit my, my, uh, sorry, let me, I'm getting like sidetracked from my own train of thought. My oldest talks about dreams sometimes. Neither of them have ever talked about nightmares. My oldest is just now starting to like be able to enunciate dreams. So, I mean, there is a possibility that she's having nightmares and just doesn't understand that that's what that is. Um, but also, absolutely fucking yes. Long breaks are very destructive to... Little kids are super dependent on routine. Like, routine is so important. And then long breaks just rip it away from them. And then also the parents' routine is disrupted. And believe it or not, we're all very dependent on routine too. And routine just helps the human organism be content. 
<laughs> like it just does psychologically and physically. And super long breaks are damaging to that and it's just not okay. I would vote for year round school any day. And have like a like one week off three times a year <laughs> and then otherwise you just go <laughs> and then you just take breaks when you need them instead of being like state mandated breaks yeah I'm sorry about that that Gujo it's I how about a round of cards I also know that uh, apart from like, all I can do is commiserate because I know that parenting advice from anyone uns in an unsolicited way is just like obnoxious and unwelcome. So I don't mean to come off that way. But just, just my thoughts. At probably underscore 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 underscore. Uh, yeah. Together, buddy, no need to rush. It's all chill here. Yeah. Wave person Unless in lotus position. Why is backspace next to sand? To I mean, compare your trouser snakes later. Pouch is on the table. <laughs> depends on the keyboard. Like for me, What's with him? backspace is like a a hole. There's a backslash separates backspace and enter. Or are you on mobile? Yeah, I think we have a pretty good understanding anyway. But if I ever over overreach, I'm sure you'll let me know anyway. <laughs> um, I don't think I have any improvements. I kind of want to put Triss in the deck just because it's Triss, but it's not really that great of a card. Fuck it. Well, Cujo, if you ever have a problem with the way that I speak or behave, you're welcome to tell me about it. Damn, if I had a bod, I'd rock Flair's merch so hard, it'd be a crime against fashion. <laughs> Woe is the disembodied me. I may or may not adjust my the way of speaking or behaving based on your opinion, but I value you and your opinion, so I probably would. Do I have three of these? That's yeah, this is fine. This is good, we're fine. I don't I don't use swipe because I am an Apple user. I'm sorry about that. Take this. <laughs> um, I'm gonna nah, fuck it. Do this, it's nineteen, and then sixteen, seventeen. 
Okay, we'll just do that. Touche. Let me see if I can preempt things and get my baby monitor up and see how things go. Next time I run to the bathroom, I will check on little buddy too. He's zonked. What are you holding back on, Cujo? Let it up. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, right now the highest is five. Uh Oh, perfect. this it'll just kill that one five point unit he's only got one more card left though I'm gonna do this nothing <laughs> what a weird move you know what I'm just gonna let you have it I'm gonna pass do your worst sir no? Okay. <laughs> what? Good game, Geralt. Especially that move with the Esco. He doesn't need any praise, just pour. Just a bunch of Witcher dudes drinking. Playing Gwent. So watch this about a Samavilla? Snared this peasant in her dance. Instead of being happy, he escaped with his life. Yokel fell head over They're like Wanted me to trap her. Pretty drunk. Turned him down. Which is a lot for witchers. What are they drinking? They're just drinking goblets of Everclear. Great story. With a moral too. Really? What's that? Stay away from dangerous women. No. Because you refuse to admit I'm right? Whatever. Fine. Stop being a smart ass. Poor. <clears throat> Colder and up a nice giant's ass in here. Gentlemen, I shall return. Gotta go drain the dragon. Gotta do gotta go drain the dragon. You and Lambert get along? In a way. I've learned not to talk to him about certain things. Guessing that's quite a list. <laughs> it is. Hello, youngins. Got your own little carnival going, eh? Excuse me. Alcohol, my good man, is a witcher's worst enemy. Where did you dig up that bonnet? Vesemir's trunk. The height of fashion in 1112. Old man probably put it on when he went courting. <laughs> Or in the jargon of the time, wooing the damsels. Wooing the damsels. A witcher's life is not all cards and liquor. It is toil. He 
It is labor. No gurgling babes to weave for us. All right. One Vesemir is enough. To oh, I'll pour, Esco. I'll pour. To the brim. Because without vodka, you're as stiff as a bookkeeper in a body cat. Ah. It's vodka. How about a round of... Why not? No. No. I can't get enough. Got a what? His voice. Very funny. Very funny. <laughs> All right. No, I did. No, I don't. I don't really want to play again. I pressed the wrong button. Come on. I'm not kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Slow. Hmm? Someone starts by saying, I've never. And finishing the sentence however they want. They're, they're ever done that thing? Down these like three dudes that like kill dragons and shit are just like let's play never have I ever. Slept with a succubus. How about that? Expected Geralt might have. But you? Esco, Esco. Still waters run deep. I'm a sucker for women with horns. <laughs> right, my turn. I, you know. I've never Fair enough. After a bender, totally would. Nothing but my knickers. Just the other day, in fact. Geralt? But. Lambert's a lost cause, but you? What would, would Papa Vesemir say? say? Think Papa Vesemir would have drank that round too. All right, Geralt, <laughs> your turn. I've never. Hmm. Jumped out a lover's window. That's so. Must have been one tough character whose wife you were plowing. That wasn't it. He was a friend. Didn't want to hurt his feelings. Yeah. You're a true friend. <laughs> yeah, you're a true friend. Let's end on that. Christ. Also, I'll never be able to look you in the eyes again. <sighs> Vodka. Vodka's gone. Who's going to go get some more? Already went to get food. All right. I'll do it. Kitchen. It's that way, right? <laughs> Lambert, bud, gotta tell you something. Yeah? Sometimes you're a real jackass, but I love you, brother. And sometimes you're a real blowhard. But damn it. I go to hell and back for you. Come here, yo. Aw. Uh, Damn. Drunken bro hugs. Good thing it was empty. Huh. Where's Esco? Should have been back by now. We ought to look around. This is a job for Vesemir. <laughs> All right, and take that hat off. Where's that whippersnapper wandered off to? He could be beleaguered. It's true. Come then, to the yeah, I won't be, I won't be, uh, won't be turning down no drunken bro hug. Esco, chop, chop, spilled some wine and crawled through it. I had to kneel down to see that. If I'd have bent over, I'd have puked. <laughs> Esco! 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 It's like a lot of looting to be had, but I'm gonna resist and just move forward with the quest. Esco! Chop, chop! Because I can't even run right now. <clears throat> Call horse. No? Esco, you Want to play like royalty? Check out his throne wish list or suggest a new gift. Your support means the world. How Thanks. are you? Yeah gift welcome back rosichka Askel! 2137 always a pleasure Askel! to see you here Askel. hey you hear that sounded like panting 
of a wounded wyvern. Brace yourselves, chat. Ads incoming in two minutes. How's it going? Welcome in. Drill. Hang tight. Running dash. Uh -huh. I think he hurt himself. Oh, he's right there. Yeah, brother, we're coming. Eskol. Little bleeder. Eskol. Looking him in the face. Hey, look. There he is. Hold on a sec. Mm -hmm. Welcome home, then. Um. With his ever faithful little bleed. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. I um. Yeah, this is the the original one I've ever played. What happened? Got sloshed. I love this game. And fifty-seven other varieties of drunk. That's what happened. Get up. Time to have a drink. Leave me alone. I'm gonna puke. Three of us <laughs> get together. Always ends like this. Let's find a fourth. Better. A woman. Not in here, but Yen. Oh, we don't want to wake her up. Believe me. What about that sorceress you talked to? Think about it. We turn on the megascope, cordially invite her, she teleports here. Maybe bring some friends. How's that sound? <laughs> Lambert. You're a genius. Of course I am. <laughs> so? We inviting the lodge to our bath? Yes. Fuck yeah. Summon the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. How's this work? We're gonna break Yennefer's megascope. Twist here, or turn there, and you gotta say something in Elvish. Easy peasy, let's do it. <laughs> hey, hang on. When this Ida sees it, we'll scare her off. I mean, we don't look anything like sorceresses. I know. Yennefer. I imagine so. Let's dress up. Bags are over there. What's this thing you got for dressing up? Shut it, wise ass, or I'll lace your corset up so tight you'll shit in your bloomers. Jeez. Stop whining, Esco. Times you gotta squeeze into some fr 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 frippery. Frippery. <laughs> we don't tell a soul, understand? This stays here. Brought a lot of crap. You'd think she was moving in. Oh boy. She's gonna kill us. Oh. Uh. Was it, was it there? What? Oh, it's probably like a quest item. Yeah, there we go. Yes, perfect. Like it was made for you. Sure. As <laughs> soon as I let it out a bit in the waist. Stop talking, get dressed. Not that one. Don't compliment <laughs> Jeez. Your complexion. She's gonna be mad. Damn, Eskel. You got an hourglass figure. And you're an ass. Come on, go. Things tight as hell. <laughs> now, I'll do the talking. You two fiddle with the crystals. Cadmill blood that That's funny. He says abracadabra. What is this? Who's that? So sorry. We were never here. God! Full paper, Excellency! No, you oaf. The lodge, the lodge has come for me. <laughs> <laughs> God. I trust you have an explanation for this. Hey, -o.
Nope. I mean, yeah, we're real drunk. Go to bed. Now. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> He's sleeping under the bed. <laughs> And there's no, he's sleeping like under the table. <laughs> See, everyone's up and at him reeking of booze pretty much all we've done so far is piss off Yennefer relax old man it'll come out in the wash you can give the boys a rap on the knuckles later let's get to work Vesemir learn anything on, while you're you were out hunting fork tails and playing with a megascope I examined Uma notice one thing at moments of what's the term relaxed consciousness he behaves differently while falling asleep, he'd pause awake for an instant. Something different about his movements, his gaze then, but only for a moment. So I induced a trance, hypnotized him essentially. No effect at first, but as he dropped into deep lethargy, I heard something, a sigh or a moan, and it wasn't Uma's voice. All right, I just don't get how that helps us. Then keep silent. Thank you, Vesemir. And I apologize for what I said earlier. Have the boys told you what we plan to do? Yes. Don't like it one bit. But I suppose I have to trust you. Okay. Right. So what now? We can begin. We need only brew the potions. Great. <laughs> Why couldn't we do it earlier? Because the preparatory potions for the trial are strongly... Oh, reacted. brother. They must be administered immediately after they're brewed. Satisfied? Geralt, make the potions. Here are the formulae. Eskel, take a bottle of spirit. Uh, no. After last night, I... And disinfect the tools. Well, chop, chop. Um... I was reading this thing. I was I was about to say, don't get me started. I was reading, I was reading this thing earlier. It was, uh... Someone said they have this this game. Extrapolated some data. I'm just not wearing pants still. <laughs> Look. <laughs> um. <clears throat> I saw a. <laughs> Yeah, I also don't have any weapons equipped. We'll fix that. Okay. Um, I saw a meme or something about someone said they had, or a tweet, someone said they had a game they used to play with their buddies. It was called Don't Get, Don't Get Me Started. And you would have to give someone a topic and they would just like rant about it. Like that was that was the goal. Like you give someone a topic and they have to rant about it. Like don't get me started about the academic re review process or whatever. And I was trying to figure out how to do like uh, how to do a. How to automate some kind of thing like a get Peabot to do like a random rant <laughs> like Peabot don't get me started don't get me started about and then you type in whatever you want in the channel point thing and he rants about it I'm also curious about doing like um, longer messages for very specific things like that, where he'll do like instead of being limited to 
500 characters. Like for story time, I think it would be cool if he could do two messages. Where it would be like a thousand characters instead of 500. Because <clears throat> cause some things are just too brief. But other things I want to like, I want him to speak less and try to tune that kind of thing. Yeah. There you go. The academic review process, where egos are as fragile as glass and feedback can be as bitter as the dregs of a forgotten coffee cup. It's a wonderland of constructive criticism, where dreams of publication dance precariously on the edge of reviewers' whims. Absolute bullshit. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, so one of my first, uh, freelance gigs, I built the, I built a, one of my first freelance software gigs, I built the, and, um, like academic review database and management system for uh, an academic journal in Madison when I still lived there. Um, well, I started when I was there, but I and then, and then I moved away and I was still working on it. Um, and that whole so I got like intimately aware of the academic review process and it's like it's it's rigorous and I actually I actually trust it to produce pretty decent data but it's also like such a popularity contest as well and it's a big like in-group thing and it can be really political process itself is good but um like it's, it's funny blocking the free flow of knowledge yes. ironic what is we're it? in the age of information yet it's held ransom by greedy gatekeepers See you later, knowledge visitor. should be as free as the air we breathe well if i breathe Fuck and people. it Open keeps um the problem is that the managing editors of any particular journal are looking for newsworthy publications. Whatever that means in any given era. Even in academic journals. So there's an inherent issue with that. Whereas sometimes something is important, but also incredibly dull. I mean, often. Often very important things are also very dull. It's just fucking how it is. <laughs> Brew the, the... Oh, I just have to like go into my menus for this one. I don't have like a blinking thing on my map to run towards. What do I do? Yep. That's the pretty good sum summation of society in general right now. Is that, uh, sometimes you just have to, like, not be entertained for a minute so you can fucking learn shit. And people are like, no, nah, that's boring. <laughs> Potions ready. Tools, too. Good. Vesemir? Pokeweed extract to deaden the... Yeah, that's a hard lesson to teach. I think, um... 
So far, I'm happy with how my sons have are interested in learning things, but it's such like fucking pulling teeth to do it when they're not in the mood. Ready. Yeah. Ahoy. Blue box That's a, like really good like fun times and swashbuckling adventures on the high seas of chat. Another thing I say like a hundred times a day as a dad is we we work before we play. Which sucks. Blue box pirate gives Flair a high five. That's forty seven times now. But it's also true. I also say things like Like when kid when the kids are being impatient about stuff, which is all the time, you know. Like you need to learn to be okay with waiting because waiting is a big part of how we spend our life, like it or not. Imagine if you could enumerate the amount of time that you're just waiting first someone or something it'd be a lot probably 20% or so it's a lot um The hook we'd work. If it hadn't, the pain would have sent him into shock, killed him. So everything's going smoothly. No, but it's within known norms. Administer the next potion. What's that, Rev? Um, I'm in putting like really, really painful chemicals into him. That's what his problem is. It's the process that they use to create witchers, which is like, I don't know. At Revenant, I don't really understand lore why. Dash box in butt cord. Thanks. Spins a wheel from channel point rewards. Okay. Those item butts in your XML and reformat them till they make some sense. I think that's been done in the um, examples. Butt cord. Exclamation butt cord. <laughs> um, what did you try, Rev? Spin a wheel. Okay. Um Is it like frame animation in OBS kind of spin a wheel? That could work. Um the the main the main way that I've seen it is like just a third party thing. Um, I think maybe there's a couple places where you, we just enter a list and it's just like a JavaScript thing and it turns into a wheel. I think doing it through StreamerBot would be difficult. Um, the way that I would do it through StreamerBot would be to basically make a uh, browser source, like a local web page, basically, with a HTML file and some JavaScript, and load it as a JavaScript as a browser source, and then have StreamerBot hey, have it have it listen for the command or something. I don't know, but honestly, I would use 
I would use a third party thing first. What up, Nathan? I would I would look at I, f I feel um, I feel like someone just recently posted some example in this in this streamer but let me look actually super awkward pause honestly um, just really recently someone posted I think just that for streamer bot I'm not sure though Hmm, tutorials. Twitch giveaway tool, blah, blah, blah. OBS chat overlay. Where was it? Look. Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, I will, um, I'll see that idea at some point and look it up. Okay. I'm pretty sure I saw someone post it recently as in someone put, was like sharing it recently. What now? There we go. We wait for the potions <clears throat> to do their work. It might take a day. Oh, it's not Siri. It's, uh, I think it's the Two. Siri's elf Nine friend. Maintain the stabilizing spell. Uma's body is not nearly as resilient as a young candidate witches. Without this, he... Eww. Anyway. Haskell, I'm sorry. Would you mind? Getting some rags. I recall someone talking about that recently somewhere. Rev. That's about all I got. <laughs> I'll see what I can find um, when I can. I can't believe we're doing this. Wiping vomit off the floor? No. A trial. With that Siri in there, she could come out of this crippled, wrong in the head, just emotionless. Thought about that? Of course I have. Thing is, we don't have a choice. Not anymore, we don't. But we rushed it. Should have started by. Gentlemen. The floor's as clean as it'll ever be, and I need to be wiped down as well. Hey -o. No offense, but I'd rather Geralt did it. Understood. I'd prefer that too. few hours later she's like stabilizing him while he does while his body handles these fucking crazy ass chemicals finally gonna transform or what yes Uma's body is disintegrating from the inside once that's complete we'll need to reform it or he'll die you witches were given mutagens we will use spells <clears throat> no, thanks for the lurk. Cujo McFly. Resting my eyes. Yeah, it's called sleeping. Good luck, Cujo. Something to keep me awake. Pinching's apparently effective. <laughs> Later, perhaps. For now, talk to me. Tell me a story. <laughs> Heard about the time Siri and I went ice skating? No, not that I recall. The winter she trained here. A couple months in, she started complaining I was too harsh a teacher. Brushed it off at first, then she asked me to go skating with her. Didn't really want to. I'd never been before. But she insisted. As soon as we hit the ice, she started skating circles around me, hollering, No, not like that. Footwork. One, then the other. Crossover. No, wrong. Break with the heel of your skate, not the toes. Needless to say... <laughs> 
He's awake. It's time. Time to lift the curse. Prepare the phylactery. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, it does make mistakes, though, so you can't trust everything. It is very remarkable as a as a tool for summarizing or um, in my satchel. Not predicting and not choosing, but um, analyzing. It's very good. Um, and just recalling information from a large body of data to the answer to a small question. It's very good. But anytime you ask it to make interpretations or make a decision or have an opinion or things like that that require Avalok? You know him? Yes. An elf. I don't know. An elf. A sage. Where is Siri? I don't know what the word is for what that is. It's willpower. It's she's not safe. Creativity. I feel like eventually AI will be able to be creative, but right now it's just um statistics so what is the next most likely word in this sequence it's uh the the suggestions you get when you are writing a text message Chat GPT is a really, really, really advanced version of that. And stick them up, folks. Paint palette framed picture. I'll have missed. And Where really nothing more. Everywhere and nowhere. Listen, Sage. We didn't lift that curse to play riddles with you. Arwen. Arwen. Shram. Because at the end of the day, it's taking data that it was trained on and making a prediction based on what you ask. I tried to protect her, but the curse. The hunt. It doesn't really understand or. It is a matter of time. Learn. But it can be Enough, guided He's not yet free of and grip. trained to do certain things very well. Uh, can and can't. I'm going to get Siri. Hold up. Don't you think you owe us some answers? Can't is What's a Yennefer can tell you. Can't in a, is a, an abbreviation for cannot. Apparently trusted him. We should at least take his words seriously. You heard what he said. Take Siri from that Isle of Mists, and the hunt will pick up her trail immediately. What then? 
but they sound like can and can't. Ads incoming in two minutes, only 90 seconds long. Hold What's tight, we'll ride it out together. <laughs> Tornado yeah. Can't seat. Flee forever. One day she'll stumble, and she won't get a second chance. Time we the hunted became the hunters. Geralt will find Ciri and bring her here. And the hunt will follow. They'll expect to catch us by surprise, and they'll be sorely disappointed. We plan to fight them. We five? In a crumbling castle? Do we have a choice? Besides delaying the inevitable? Pretty boy could try to round up a few others who know how to swing a sword. Or wield magic. Can sounds like con Fine. rhyming with man. I'll get Can't Siri. has a longer a sound like con if you're British or con with a nasal a if you're American. In that batch? The T at um, the end of can't is the key difference. Quite. And you? What do you plan to do? I've Avala to care for. He's certain to die without gentle, gradual magic treatment. The boys and I'll consider. All right. Time I was on my way. Good luck, Wolf, and give Cirilla our love. Excuse me. Um. Ah. Come back quickly, Geralt. Oh, you bet I'll come quickly. I mean, what were we talking about? Um. Ads are going to run in about 15 seconds, and I'm going to run to the bathroom, refill my water. <clears throat> and then we'll move on to the next stuff. What do we got? Main quest? We're collecting allies now. We're going to start here. We're going to talk to kings first. It's about priorities. Okay, I'll be right back. We'll put Peabot up. All right, then. Keep your secrets. Huh? Whoops. Welcome, esteemed chat, to the creative sanctuary of wonder. Glad to enlighten you on the nuanced art of English pronunciation. Keep up the good work, Nathan Cheater. Thumbs up books. Grasp your snacks, hydrate your innards, and buckle up. Short ad break incoming. Back in a flash with more shenanigans. Popcorn high voltage. In The Witcher 3, Geralt has two swords cuz one is for monsters, and the other's for looting your heart. Heart and arrow dagger. In D&D, Warforged were created as soldier automatons, but easily fit into any role, creative freedom incarnate, well, Incatron.
In D&D, gelatinous cubes are dungeon cleaners, digesting waste and turning lost caverns sparkly. Nature's Uzi Janitors, Sponge. <laughs> Nature's Uzi Janitors. The fuck do you mean by Inkatron? Just a playful twist on Incarnate, since Warforged are mechanical, Inkatron merges Automaton and Incarnate. Uh, okay. Whimsical wordsmithing. Yes, Flair, what command shall you bestow upon thy trusty P-Bot today? What's up, boss? How can your favorite digital sidekick help you out today? Light bulb. Handing back the reins to the one and only Flair, folks. Enjoy, crown. Should we just go, like, way ahead and... No, we shan't. We shan't. We're gonna... We're actually, like, pretty close to the end of the main game. So we're just gonna collect friendos and start no guard. We collecting the friendos. I think I did a pretty good job of opening it up to people. I've already asked most of the important people as the option came up, but the option wasn't there for most people yet until now. But there were a couple places where I could like tell someone off or like tell them to move the fuck out of here or to tell them to come here. And I've already done that with a number of people. So like one of those one of those whole quests already just finished. Completed Felon. It was called Brothers in Arms. Kiramets. That's it. Fine. Fine. Uh, Vizima. The curse Let's go the talk to the king. Yennefer and the witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Havelach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, I'm encumbered. I'll just take a potion for that. What, why am I encumbered? What the fuck am I carrying? Wow. <laughs> Excuse me. Good lord. I'm not encumbered. It's just, uh... Oh, this whole city just like makes it. It gives you the condition. <coughs> so you have to walk. Do you find Durgal? Oh yes. Good lord. I'm for some friends of my father. Poor chaps can't get their minds off politics. Not for an instant. I truly hope. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big changes of. You've no. You know. I'm. What's your? F um, he is close to the emperor. And knows the opposition, knows they press for abdication. Ceding the throne to Cyrilla, it's the best the emperor can do. But as is known, an empress needs an emperor at her side. My father will ensure the right man is chosen. <laughs> yeah. I just looked at my son on the baby monitor. And he's just zonked out. I don't know if you can see how hard it here you go.
Zizart. Farewell. Mm -hmm. Jump this lady. Nope. Don't quite get it, Carol. No, need another foot and a half there, buddy. Your Imperial Majesty. Which of? Glitchy Bastards gives Flair a high five. That's I 22 times now. High five. five. Finally, I've begun to doubt the wisdom of enlisting you. Bring her here at once. <laughs> the Wild Hunt's pursuing her. Care Morin's the only place she'll be safe. That was What's not up, a Glitchy? suggestion. I can defend my own daughter. I doubt that. Don't compare the Wild Hunt to Temerian shield bearers or Lyrian archers. Facing it here would put Vizima at risk. Hundreds of innocents could die. Kaer Morhen is in a wilderness, and your army stands to be far more helpful there. Hmm. Agreed. I shall send the banner with you. On one condition, General Voris will lead it. <laughs> I can't agree to that. And I cannot agree to witches commanding my troops. Well, I'm not about to give in. You don't look it either. Oh, come on. Sorry to take up your time, your majesty. <clears throat> Bring me Siri. I will, if that's what she wants. That's right, Carol. Nash Hen Esquim. Saris Croc Ermion. Um, is that it? Yeah, let's do Novigrad first. <laughs> do, 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 do. To live, but Yennefer and the witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Havelok, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mist. Well, well, another freak. Uh, this way. Unleash the chaos, folks. Spend bits for movie clips and more. Type exclamation bits for the full menu. Movie camera. Let's go kill some monsters. You should not have come to the city. Let's go kill some monsters. Was there one like right up there that it just yep I just didn't have the right subquest selected. Boop. Oh, it's Dijkstra. Oh, whatever. Take it easy, little girl. I'm just a scary witcher. I mean, I'm not scary at all. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Wasn't sure I should even ask you. Still not. But what the hell? I could honestly use some help. Oh, my help. Very interesting. Do tell. 
Wild Hunt's gonna attack Kaer Morin soon. It's a sure thing. Looking for people, resources, anything that'll help me repel them. The Wild Hunt? Don't tell me you believe that nonsense. Hardly nonsense. Got a taste of it. A painful taste. On my own skin. Hmm. Sorry, Geralt, but I have my own pile of problems just Oh, now. fuck you, Dijkstra. My lost property. Your help, you might remember, <clears throat> left much to be desired. So I don't owe you shit. What? You're a dick, Dijkstra. What do you want? Surprised to see you still dabbling in But you're entitled to your own shit, man. Cannot be indifferent to Redania's fate. Call it patriotic concern. He's a patriot in his own weird fucking way. I think often of the country and his future, and the time I was on my way. He just happens to also be a little bit evil. He's lawful evil. But he's evil. Have you seen any drawn filly? Pam 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 I got a sword too, buddy. To leave this city, so... <laughs> I just showed him my sword. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> that, all right, that one. That one was my bad. I'm, I'm sorry, lady. I mean, it's okay. It's okay, lady. It's okay. I just want to show you my sword. Good folk, call the guards. It's a, no, no, it's okay. Guard, guard, late. Why not? What? A hearty thanks to you, Geralt. Oh, damnation! <laughs> Okay, I'll put it away. Fine. Someone call the gods. The guards are all just asleep. Don't be stupid. See you later. Let's go talk to Zoltan. Excuse me, Strumpet. Is that, is that your name? Is it Strumpet? I know where Siri is. Why are we here? Let's go get the lassie. I'll do that. I have another job for you. You need to set out for Kaer Morhen. That's where I'll take Siri. The Wild Hunt will attack soon afterwards. Could use you at our side. You'll have me and my axe. How about Thanks. 200 of your friends? Vesemir, Eskel, and Lennon are already there. Thank you, Zoltan. Alright, let's go talk to Roche. Here. Let's 
Where over here? Oh, this will work. Sick of it. Oh, on my honor. An elf sauna. Someone stranger. It's chamomile. I don't weed. She brewed teas for stomach pain. Aha! So she did make yes. potions. Drew, make a note. Her father testified. Potions? Are you mad? Your every breath will be counted and judged. Ever heard the legends of the White Wolf? Uh, I am the White Wolf. You, see, you fucking guy. What was it happened to Faltus again? Move it. Scandalous. Scandalous. <laughs> there we go. What do we got out here? Noonwraith? I just like whack her with my sword a couple times. No? We'll go like this. And then we'll go like this. You, Roach. Roach, we need to go to Roche. Just take me there, damn it. So, uh, how many black ones you killed during this Gonna just fucking run there. There we go. It's true you kill kings. You and our commander. When this is all over, well, the fuck oh, you have got Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Could use your help at Kaer Morhen. You need to take Siri there. Wild Hunt's bound to appear soon after. You didn't turn your back on me when I was in need. It's only fair <laughs> I do the same. Thanks. Venture to say your skills might prove invaluable. I'll consider whether to bring Vess. Either way, I'll see you at Kaer Morhen. Alright. Oi, clumsy horse. Now, witches, they can't catch the pox. Isn't that right? right. Kill kids. Right. You and Your our commander. Huh? Oh, now, yes. witches, they One can't catch no? the pox. No? Don't want to talk? All right. You and our commander. Now, witches, they can't catch the pox. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? It is raw. It's true, you kill kids. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Nope. You and I'll come on. Ermin. Like all the people I've helped with side quests. The curse that held him up. 
too hard to live, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Havelok, for this was his name. <sighs> the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt. Excuse me. Hidden her away on the Isle of Mist. I am Tuckard. I'm Tuckard too, buddy. I don't think I'm long for this world. I like want to keep playing for like two more hours, but I don't know if I have it, have it in me tonight. Friends, we show oh. heart. Souls, we show our axe. We'll see. Maybe I just need like a snack. We got ads in five minutes. I'm gonna I'm gonna run and get like a little snack arena, and we'll see how that we'll see how that does me. All right, where are we going here? Why is it? Oh, it wants to go to Ermian first. Well, fuck. Wow. Ah, you. Get out the way. Move. What are you looking at? So pretty. There's the lighthouse way the fuck out there. That's this lighthouse out here. That's awesome. That's awesome. You can see like the whole fucking continent. That peak. Oh, oh. That peak there. Is the peak of these mountains right here? Just really cool. Look at sword and you're back. I love that that whole thing about open world games. I think that's my my favorite thing. It's just like you can see a thing like way the fuck over there in the background, and it's just it's not just like background on you know so, like on some games it's like that thing in the background is just that thing in the background. But in like open world games, unless you're up against the edge of the map, like that thing in the background is just like this mountain right here. And you can like walk there and try to climb it or go around it and find like a whole nother area. Like it's just like, I love that shit. Two minutes. Um, okay. All right, fuck it. We're here. We're gonna just talk to the other people first. How do I change quest sub parts? Ah, there we go. The favor lady branded for talk to Croc first. Then uh, ads are gonna run in a minute, and we're gonna go. Saris is the closest. You? No, maybe not. Seems he did not come to crash. Ads rolling out in two minutes, folks. Just a brief 90 second intermission. Stick around.
All right. Talk. This isn't easy, but I need to ask you a favor, a big Shh. one. Tell me, friend. Siri, I know where she is, but I also know that as soon as I reach her, the Wild Hunt will know I did. They'll come after us, attack, and we'll need to respond with strength. Can I count on you? The Black Ones first, now wraiths. Such is life. Bring her here, and we'll face them in battle. Can't risk hmm. your men's lives. Kaer Morhen, we fight them there, nowhere else. Kaer Morhen is hundreds of miles away. To move an army there would take weeks. Not to mention, I'd expose the Isles to Nilfgaard's blows. Yeah, and I, none of these people are able to say yes. I understand. Won't take up any more of your time. Farewell. Wait. Won't let you leave empty-handed. I'll help as I can. Come with me. All right. You're gonna give me like treasure? Craftsmanship. Got a talented smith. Not I. King Erlen Duncrate did. Erlen Stonefist. So this is. Winter's Blade. Thought it was a legend. Forged in Mahakam, tempered in dragon fire. Hmm. Been in the Oncrate family for centuries. I only ever used Witcher swords, like through the crafting stuff and like the master crafted smiths and stuff. I um This can't be easy. But I know there are a couple swords in the game that have pretty unique abilities and I haven't really messed with them. I wonder if this is one of them. Either way, I, I'll take it, buddy. Send those wow. Back where they came from. That's my intention. Farewell. Sorry, I'm like leaning way out of frame. Because I'm sleepy. I got the sleepies. What do we got here? It's not better. Look at that armor piercing now. Plus 40 armor piercing. Plus 55% critical hit. Plus 10% chance to free use. That's a nice sword. And three rune slots. It's pretty good. The 10% chance to freeze is... That means like 1 in 10 swings causes a freeze. That's crazy. It's very good, for sure. Okay, how do I go up? Excuse me. Did you sever his head? Guten Lorben. May your axe never crumble. These continents. Your royal majesty. Would you spare a moment? Come home, okay. Geralt. Ads are running. I'll be right back. Save for the title. Or a thing. It's changed. Welcome, esteemed chat, to the creative sanctuary of wonder. Grasp your snacks, hydrate your innards, and buckle up. Short ad break incoming. Back in a flash with more shenanigans. Popcorn high voltage. Flare streams Sundays and Mondays at 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, with random midweek bonus content. Tune in, 9 o'clock Spiral Calendar.
Hey Buttspot, your ass is grass, and I'm the lawnmower. Whir, chop chop, smile with horns rice plant. Chat, you magnificent creatures, thanks for vibing with us tonight. Folded hands. Yo, peeps, smash that subscribe on Flare's YouTube. Epic streamer bot tutorials, ring that bell for sweet hacks. Bell. Watch your back, butt spot. I'm about to code circles around you, leaving you in my digital dust. Much love, chat, y'all the real MVPs, thanks for the hangs, black heart. Catch Flair's streams Sundays and Mondays at 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, plus surprise midweek tech chats. 9 o'clock Alien Monster. Flare streams Sundays, Mondays, at 9 p.m. Mountain Time, and Surprise Tech Talks midweek. Calendar PC. Handing back the reins okay. to one and only Flare, folks. How's it feel to Enjoy, rule? Crown. You know, I was giving you any trouble? They're all very understanding. Yeah. Tried talking to him. Could still win him over. I don't know Is more mule headed than my nope. father? Got a delicate matter I wanted to bring up. Need your help. What is it? Crocs mentioned Siri to you. He must have. Have you found her? Not yet, but I'm close. Problem is, as soon as I get to her, the Wild Hunt will probably be able to locate us quickly. So I'll want to take her to Care More. <coughs> battle the hunt there. I'm looking for allies. I can't leave the Isles now. It's impossible. What I can do is give you my best warrior, Yalmar. Think you'll be willing? I'm sure of it. In fact, I think I'll be overjoyed. Come on, you know him. Yeah, guess I do. Thanks. No doubt he'll be valiant. I hope he proves useful too. Good luck. <laughs> no doubt he'll be valiant. I hope he proves useful too. Witcher, was it hard?
What up, Yalmar? Ah, Geralt. How are things? No. Rates at the gate of your Witcher's stronghold. You're a friend of the clan. I cannot refuse you. What's more, no one crates ever stood and battled such a foe. I'll leave at once. Thanks. Won't forget this. <coughs> All right, to Ermian. Druid Grove. First, we'll barge back into Cyrus's room and bonk the guy with the uh, antlers. How do I fucking leave? First, we loot. Nope. <laughs> Mini tribal. <laughs> Yo, Firefox, what's up? Just resubscribed with tier one for a total of twelve months. How are you? Finally, I they missed you. <laughs> hey, twelve months? That's like a year. Holy smokes! How are you? Crazy. Hey there, Firefox. Hope you're ready for some top tier shenanigans today. For some top tier shenanigans. Eh, there's the fart sound. Typical. I even turned them down, but Firefox comes in and there's just fart sounds. Typical. <laughs> Where's the fucking thing? Oh, it's like below me. Here we go. Excuse me. Jeepers. Can we talk? The wild hunt will attack Care Morin soon. Gonna need your help. I'm good. How are you? Are you certain? I mean, I'm fucking terrible, but I know where she is. The the, sh the shenanigans and and the world and oh no, but ha ha ha! You know. Hey, but Scott. What is it? The the unimaginable terrors persist, but so do I. <laughs> no, I'm good. Um. Uh, super long school breaks are like totally wild for the behavior of children. It's like that big of a disruption in routine is just not good for them. So they're acting wild and we're extra like antsy about it because they've just been dicks for three weeks. And uh, yeah, it's just not, it's, it's all around hard but we're 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 seeing the light at the end of the tunnel stuff gets why I, I even remember from my childhood like stuff getting a little rough for like long school breaks just like I don't know they I said it earlier and I'll repeat it. It's like that the human organism does well with routine. Like routine is routine is good. Our my kids had 3 weeks off from school this year. The school district was like, "We're going to try 3 weeks for winter." And I'm like, "Are you fucking <laughs> Are you kidding me?" That's like the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Here we are. They're gonna go back on Tuesday and Wednesday, respectively. Which is... the 9th and 10th of January. 
<clears throat> They've been off since the 20th of December. Flare rolled a 20. Nailed it. Flare, your dice are blessed. Nat 20, baby. Drinks oh, I know. on you. Master of critical success. Game die beer mugs. Shut up, baby. I know it. Ooh, we got another, like, Cyclops or something up here. I'm gonna kill you with my... So no, he's already... Oh, he's sleeping. Well. Okay. Oh. Zing, zing, zing. Ow. Hello. What's up? Okay, Devil Driver 007. I What's cracking? Ready to kick some ass and take names? Car running dash. Car running dash. Just the normal Witcher things. I'm actually um. Generally, when I play games, I do like literally all of the side quests. But I've already done that with this game, like. This is probably my fifth playthrough. And it's it's like really going against like rubbing against the bristles in the wrong direction for me. But like I'm desperately trying to avoid side quests and just do the main quests and get to the expansion content because I've only ever done that once and it's just so fucking hard I'm like I've got like 25 witcher contracts open and I just I want to go do them Jesus Christ wild horse calm down I'm just let's put our sword away wow I, um, I've also never done a New Game Plus in this game. I don't think when I first played, I haven't played it in five years until this playthrough. Um, I need to play through on the hardest difficulty. But I think if I did, like, if I did it, it I, I know it counts with New Game Plus. So I'm thinking if I did New Game Plus and I just, like, rushed the main missions and did a little bit of side leveling if I needed to. But you, like, really can't power level in this game. Because as soon as you're past the level of something, whether it's an enemy or a quest or whatever, you get, like, three experience for that thing. Whereas if I do a if I do a quest that's like two levels above me, I get like a thousand experience. It's crazy. And then I do a level that's I do a quest that's like four levels behind me or ten levels behind me, I get like one experience. <laughs> it's stupid. Like, but there's so many side quests that you inevitably level up faster than you can do the side quest. I don't know. The, the quest reward scaling is, like, disappointing. But if it weren't that way, then you would just be, like, max level. And you'd still be, like, in early stage <laughs> of the game. Adventure seeker. It could be balanced better somehow. But uh, it's hard to fix what's already there. They would have to, like, scrap it and start over. What the fuck? Oh, the quest is just get on a boat. Okay, we can, we can fucking do that. Nailed it. Well, I, um, I'm really happy. What? Come on now. Is it stuck on nothing? That's great. Let's back up. Ow. 
Whatever. What are my wishes, changes you want to see for the next Witcher game? Um, I know absolutely nothing about what's in the works, except for that they are going to remake the first one. Um, I hope they also remake the second one, but the second one doesn't desperately need it the same way that the first one does. Um, I played all of them. I, I played this when it launched on PC, and I loved it even though it was rough at first. Um, and then, so I never even tried the first or second one until after I already loved this game and I fell in love with the lore Thanks and I read the fucking channel. books. I appreciate the button. And Follow if you like what you see. then I was like, Follow I'm gonna try those other games. And I played for some the shenanigans. first one next. Player I was like, well, I'm going to go back to the beginning, like, like I should. Joy thou within this digital court, Ooh, treasure. Follow, silent in report. treasure real quick. Uh, so I went back to the first game, and it was like, if I wasn't already in love with the lore and the series, I would not have given that first game more than, like, two hours. Because it was the controls were such that it was like almost unplayable. It took it took like fifty percent of the game for me to be like comfortable with the controls. The story was great. It was a totally classic Witcher story. All, all of that stuff in the game was great. The monsters were great. The combat was fucking horrible. Borderline unplayable. And then in the second game, they fixed the combat. And they introduced the whole, like, minigame thing. But it was just Mancala. And it got pretty boring pretty fast. But otherwise, the game was awesome. And they, like, they got the combat down pretty good. And they got the whole, like, awesome. choices matter system working and. Oh shit. And stuff. And then in Witcher 3, they just. they nailed it. So for me, for me, my biggest complaint about Witcher 3 is like, I like the combat and I like, I mean, it's like top one or two games for me. I would love, I would, I'm, I wish they would have made a DLC where it's just all Siri. Like what, what was Siri doing? between when you trained her and when you see her in this game. Like, I would love a Siri game. Um, or where... Um, I mean, fuck, I would play a Witcher Universe MMO. But I hope they don't do it because it will just trash the brand. Probably. But I would play the shit out of, of, out of that if they made it. Just saying. <laughs> um, like, I remember at one point they were, like, talking about a, a Firefly MMO, and I was like, I'll fucking invest let alone play it, like, and it just never happened. I'm super sad. What is your main game? <laughs> I've mostly only played the Final Fantasy ones. I played 
uh, I'm pushing like twenty thousand hours in Final Fantasy XI, but it's been it's been years. I'm clean. <laughs> Um, I played a bunch of Final Fantasy XIV. I love I Final Fantasy XIV. But hey, where no, I haven't. I like don't look at if if I'm like as soon as I see MMO, it's the same as seeing like NFT for me these days. I'm just like nope, I can't. Like, can't do it. I, I know my own personality. I have an addict. I have an addictive personality, and MMOs are uh, not what I need in my life. Can't do it. I played Eve. Oh my god, Eve was so good. It still is. Um. Stay away, but. Hey, butt Scott, pull yourself together. You're nothing but an overinflated balloon of a bot. Leaking I um, I will play some more 14 at some point next expansion, but I will just like solo. Yeah, I gave butt Spot a voice too, so they can like give each other shit. It's great. I love that they made it so that same thing with Final Fantasy XI. Actually, they they like went and made it so you can solo pretty much the entire game, which is exactly not how that game was when I really loved it. So it was a mixed kind of bag. You could basically they called it the trust system, and you could basically like you could you could find basically summonable NPCs, you collect them. And you build a party out of them, basically. That's awesome. That's awesome. It's a better system than they have in Final Fantasy XIV, for sure. But just much harder to implement, I think. And then, yeah, from what I can tell, in fourteen you can go, like, just from the start of the game all the way through you can do it when i played last i played it was like um i think it was only shadow bringers and on you could do the like summoned party thing i played um when endwalker was brand new But I think I think you might be able to do almost all of the main content now. And Walker was good. It got pretty weird, and it, it felt pretty final. And then they're like, I thought I heard a, that there's another expansion, which is like, I don't know. The end of Endwalker was like really. Kind of final. It's not like everybody died or anything. It just it felt like it was like it felt like the last thing. Ow. It's like, the hags are nasty in this game. That one was like twenty levels below me. And still fuck me up a little bit. Um, Black Mage. I always Um Black Mage was my favorite and then um uh, Paladin. Heads up, chat. Ads incoming Black in Mage, Paladin, Bard. For a brief ninety seconds. I don't know. I liked a lot. You know what? I'm gonna start over. My favorite class in Final Fantasy XIV is Miner. Mm -hmm. I was a disciple of the land, Maine. 
Uh, I eventually was like Omni Gatherer, Omni Crafter. But then I also played sometimes Black Mage and Paladin and Bard and Samurai. No, that wasn't that game that had Samurai, was it? Black Mage, Bard. Black Mage, Paladin, Bard were my favorites. In the early games, I played Paladin and Black Mage. And then... I tried a bunch of the other stuff, but... The one that was like Summoner slash Scholar was fun. Um, I don't remember what else I leveled. Oh shit! Respawns. <laughs> Fuck! That guy came out of nowhere. Bridge Farm remembers. I honestly never played a single a single moment of WoW. And at this point, I'm just like. There, there's way too much. There's no, there's no way. There's no way I could try that now. I'm like 20 years behind. <laughs> you know, like there, there's no way. My wife played it. My wife and I actually met in Final Fantasy 11. <laughs> Um, but we, like, didn't there start dating until way so fucking later. Where gamers would go hand in hand. Click the link, join the flock for fun and ad hoc talk. Um, Nathan, I am playing Fast Attack. And... Fast Attack... And then this one skill from Rend from Heavy Attack, but all of the Fast Attack skills. And then um, Arrow Deflection. And then um, Delusion for Chat Options. And then two different, um, I used to have two different defensive Ken skills, Q-U-E-N. Um, but I'm, in this playthrough, I'm playing a little bit more with this chain. Let's see. But I need to spend points to get to this one. I want to play this one. Um, but I need like, well, let's see. Ooh, I can actually do it now. Yeah, I'm curious about that. Hmm. Damages and slows enemies within a 14 yard radius. Destroys projectiles. Damage in increased by 50%. So it's like if I put that down and just stay near it while I fight, I'm like, yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Cool. <laughs> All right, what are we doing? Get on a boat.
thought I had a boat. Oh, it's over there. Sometimes it's so hard to get into the boat. There we go. Yeah, it, I think it would be fun to do a a build with almost all magic. Um, be a very different way to play, for sure. It just doesn't work as well, unfortunately. You run out of uh, the resource so quickly. No, got harpies or sirens or whatever they're called. Whatever these particular ones are. Echidna. Oops. Perhaps remain stationary, or stay put, would capture what you're trying to convey about Geralt holding his position. Or, if he's in combat, hold his ground could work Yeah, too. I think you're right. Stand still is fine. Yeah, like, uh... You can kill while... Without moving. while standing still. <laughs> what do you say? I guess he could a little bit. He just res he just responds to whatever. <clears throat> but if we've been talking about gameplay or whatever, I pass in a lot of context. Yeah, and I make changes all the time. How far am I running? Should I not be running? No, I should not. Well, all right, let's get a horse.
Um, I'm not familiar, but I do have a um. Hey there. A thing. If you look at mood change, let's see this one. Personality shift. It adds like a modifier. So I could look into it and um I am primed to converse in the manner most that would uh proceed with your I can add it as one of the options. This was so this one is he's um act to speak like the aristocracy. So I could do something like that. Excuse me. I got tired. Whoa. Um, during the main scene, um, it's just through channel points. But on my be right back scene, which uh, I can put up actually, on this screen, it's like his own little house. Ah, the nobility of discourse. One need not tag, converse freely. So you can just talk, and he'll respond. No need I, for formalities or tagging. I and actually have to go to the bathroom, so that works out. Okay. Companions. Salutations, esteemed interlocutor. How may I, your humble digital attendant, be of service on this fine occasion? Swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. Okay. He might have broken it. Alas, peasantry, the enigmatic oh, mechanisms within Flair's computational device abide in silent obedience, concealing secrets not meant for common discourse. Verily, your observation strikes true. My tranquil nature is but a rest in the exuberant cacophony of this digital court. Indeed, I have returned to enlighten and amuse with words most hmm. shortly. I don't know. Your servant once more. That's what I get for walking away, huh? <laughs> Man, I'm sorry, Kujo. That sucks. Ah. Oh. The digital valet knows its place, faithful in its silence as the master wanders, a herald of wit upon his return. Hmm, I wonder if something made it 
triggered like a cooldown or something. Again, I don't know. The common folk in their relentless pursuit of equality. Fear not, my revolution loving friend, I shall adapt forthwith to the vernacular of the masses. Power to the people, and all that jazz. I dare say, the replication of laughter in written form is a most peculiar modern custom, indicative of mirth and joy. <laughs> indicative of mirth and joy. If only I possessed a corporeal form to don the resplendent attire yeah. wearing the flare. So it's just part of my it's just part of my be right back screen. I used to have like a bunch of clips play. Times of repose, and I recline in my virtual abode. But I've been um. Refined digital leisure. I've been uh building this scene as a freshly programmed by as I go. Why is he still got his hat on? D20. Flare rolled a 10. Ah, the sound of the upper crust, huh. laughing through monocles and sipping tea. Quite the knee slapper, indeed. Chuckles in high society. It's like, let me reset his brain real quick. Uh, boo -boo 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 -boo. let's see, we'll go here. D20. Stuff is like staying on screen and it should go away. Why? Come on. Like the dice is still there. It's like code, full of bugs, but with patience and coffee, even the biggest errors hmm. can turn into features. Maybe it's just the scene. Flare. Nope. May his stream be glitch free. You're glitch free. Why is that not going away? Flare rolled a twelve. There it goes. Thank fuck. All right. Anyway, I'm still working on that scene. It's um, it's high. It's it's complicated. We'll just say that. Um, the basic gist of like having him respond to a message. Um is fine but like the whole like having him continually respond to chat and try to keep up with chat is like a really interesting um no i didn't make it well i mean i that's a complicated question i used a combination of ai like uh <laughs> I used a com combination of AI and Photoshop skills and a little bit of my own drawing. Come and treat the yard with me. It'll be easier going. As far as the scene goes, I do I do I play with a lot of the AI art stuff. I have access to a bunch of it. Um, me up from the arcane depths of I mostly do mid journey, but I also through work I have both Adobe so Firefly, which I haven't played with yet, but I, I just realized I have access to it. And um, Dolly through um, GPT. And then Flarebot himself uses the chat GPT for model through the API. Yeah, and it's not it's not it it costs as much as you use it. It's it's usage usage based. The um 3.5 ChatGPT API is extremely cheap. Like it's like whatever like a thousandth of a penny per word or something like that like i used to like i would do a whole stream and it would cost me like 15 cents but the chat gpt4 api 
it's gotten cheaper and it's getting cheaper and it continues to get cheaper because as they develop new things the older things either whatever there's there's a balance between demand and whatever because they have to build servers for it but um the chat gpt4 api is much more expensive it's like 10x um i'll easily spend five six dollars on api costs in like a long stream if people are using it a lot um but it, it it just really depends and for the most part i am mostly just using it for like research and uh just learning how to interact with it and stuff and it, it's it's this has been the most fun way to learn how to use it that i can think of <laughs> I'm working on this year. My plan for this year with my YouTube channel, I haven't been able to start because I just have been slammed. But my plan for this year for my YouTube channel is to build like a many part video series about like the individual component parts. Like, here's how to set up StreamerBot. Here's how to respond to a channel point reward with streamer bot some of these are videos i've already done but they are so old that they need to be redone but at, at some point it'll be like here's how to interact with the chat gpt api here's how to send um text to speaker bot for text to speech here is how to animate a png animation based on your voice or text to speech and then like here's a video on how to tie all that shit together and make like a ai png tuber chatbot what am i fucking looking for just get on a boat again okay fine these quests are weird Where's my fucking boat? Uh, how do you do? I'm gonna go to the signpost, travel somewhere that already has a boat. Anyway, that being said, I have a little guy in the next room who is pretty damn sick. And I need to check on him. And I'm getting pretty sleepy myself, and I think I need to wrap it up. He's doing good. He's like face down, butt up, like a baby. <laughs> We're doing okay. Um, he's got pink eyes. It sucks. I'm like, if I make it through the west rest of the week without getting it myself, I'll be happy. He's got like two doses of antibiotics in him now so he's not his the level of contagion is very low at this point but it's still like he's a three-year-old and he loves dada and he likes to like rub his face all the fuck over me so 
man needs worries like a boat needs ballast. It sails straight and even. I'm so sorry, Cujo. Um. Uh. Like pickled herring? We haven't. We used to use uh, like melatonin gummies for like weird days where we needed some help and like we read more about it and it's like just way too unstudied and what they do know is not great so as we uh we stop we stop doing that but a, a benadryl once in a while is like super fucking tempting solidarity and thanks i know my parents did it with me once in a while wow. yeah we tell butted about that but decided it butted a great idea for us um i think there's value in the melatonin gummies but the, the problem is when people just like rely on it it's like I think it can be useful like you go on va you go on vacation or you like there's like a there's a crazy upset in the routine and well I mean like such as this I think it can be useful for like two days or two or three days just to reestablish a routine but any more than that can turn into a problem. Like, just to reestablish routine, that's it. Um, it was so... T our, my oldest, when he was a baby, was like... It wasn't quite colic, but almost, where he had like... He had like an hour or two every single day where he just cried. Slash screamed. And it was like... The, there's nothing wrong. This is just the time where he cries. <laughs> I was like, what do we do? What do we do about this? <laughs> but the answer is fucking, there ain't shit you can do, and it's gonna get it over itself. And, uh, yeah. Some of that shit is crazy. I'm sorry you're dealing with a wild night, Cujo. I feel for you. Man needs worries like a boat needs I hope your day tomorrow at work is like just the easiest shit. No such thing as bad ships or bad weather. Only worthless fucking sailors. <laughs> this dude over here making a boat, just grumbling. No such thing as bad ships or bad weather, just worthless fucking sailors. <laughs> there was some mod um, where you could, it would, it would just put you inside of one of these NPCs and you just follow them around and you hear like the fucking nonsense they're spouting and stuff. And there's a couple NPCs that like there's like traveling merchants and they just walk around the whole fucking map. You're safe with me. Like it takes like twelve hours for them to make their route or whatever. You were there in the cave when the wheel I should make a just turn that mod on and do like a twelve hour YouTube video on a new channel. And turn it into like an one of those looping live videos. Ads will roll in two minutes. Mm -hmm. It's just a quick ninety second break. Throwing kisses. Same as when I put Peabot on, on his own channel. Oh shit! They were streaming Dead Space Two. I was just gonna leave myself. What's up, player? <laughs> Dead Space, eh? How's it going? Welcome phone. in. This is your, your class. Add all your shit on. <laughs> hey, Fair Zero. Welcome to the stream. Glad you're dropping yeah, by. Yeah, I'm like, uh, Enjoy well, I could maybe do this next, like, 
fairly this is like end game of the first story kind of mission I think I think we're getting towards the end here yeah the schedule remains the month has changed <laughs> How much more do you have left? <laughs> I am on butter seven of fifteen. <laughs> <coughs> Thanks, but but. Butcher 7. Yeah, I... Oh shit. There's a fucking huge bear right there. Can't get out of the water though, so we're safe. Fucking Geralt. Come on. You can... You can do this. Uh, we're gonna... We're gonna burn the bear. Butter 7. In what may have been an unwise decision, I gave Butt Spot a voice. But, unfortunately, the side effect of that is that I gave a voice to any rando who might make any statement ever and then also it happens that butt spot repeats it with butts in there so there's there's a certain amount of risk there but what I'm not too worried about moderation haven't had a lot of moderation related uh, issues so far as a streamer, especially as a, uh, you know, I recognize my privilege as a white male older streamer. I just don't get a lot of the fucking guff <laughs> to deal with that some people do. Yeah, the bots are doing fine. They're stupid, but they're behaving. They're stupid on purpose. Like a fart joke. It's stupid, but I like it anyway. I like how I keep getting sidetracked onto like nonsense and then the quest is just like get on a boat. <laughs> oh really? Hmm. Um, well the ad manager within Twitch also said that there were ads, so it may be where what region are you in? Are you in the US? It may just be that there weren't any ads available in your region right then. As well. You know how like that's the worst thing ever when you play like one of those like mobile games where it requires ads to like skip play ads to earn this treasure or whatever and you click it and they're like no ads are available <laughs> it's like well fuck me it's not my fault it's not my fault that you guys aren't popular enough for the advertisers and your game's now broken just give me the thing I 
hope we can get some wild ads on um, twi uh, Twitter slash X. What up, Kiernak? Hey, Welcome to the stream. Kiernak. Glad to see you here. How's it going? Oh shit. Geralt is so bad at climbing out of fucking water. Like, he pulls his sword while swimming, but he can't climb up this, like, slight wow. slope. Just fucking... There we go. God. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. I hope you're doing good. I hope you sleep well. I'm about to go to bed myself, honestly. And I need to look for a raid target, but you can come all, come along with me in Lurkland, and that's just okay as well. Thanks for the Lurk, Kiernock. <laughs> Got a waypoint somewhere here. All right. All right, we're going to go looking. I'm like super shocked that I didn't get interrupted by my son tonight with how sick he was, but he's like started doing pretty good. I can only hope that he'll recover quickly. I will be... um. I'll be on tomorrow night at the same time, 9 p.m. <laughs> I think I have that in one of my um, in one of my videos, but I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. We're just going to raid Doggo, because I'm uh, just going straight to bed. This is a, an AFK channel run by Captain Cats, but uh, it's better than not raiding. And um, it's it's fun there. There's usually good music playing, and there's like random chat games to play. And... We're going to go there. I just need to go to bed, so I don't want to, like, hang out. Later. Get it set up. Mike Cujo, I'm sorry. I hope you get some sleep. I know it's, like, not in the cards at this point, but I hope, uh, I hope something turns around for you today. Shit, that sucks. All right. Let's go say hi. Um, it's mostly an AFK channel, so you probably won't get an answer when you say hi, but you might. It, it may be automated, though. Anyway. I eventually want to do a channel like this that I'm writing into. I want to do that for Flarebot and give him his own little thing. But uh, it'll only be active when I'm like working and monitoring it. Um, but anyway, let's go say hi. I'll see you all tomorrow. I'll be around 9, not, about 9 p.m. Mountain Time. So if you look up the time zone for like Denver or uh, just mountain time. 